Hi all, welcome to Dido 3D Tech YouTube channel. In this today's video, we'll see how to make this trainer plane. If you are watching this video first time, please subscribe to my channel for more RC related projects. According to the plan, I cut all the parts. So you can see that this is the main fuse and uh, this is the vertical stabilizer. This is horizontal stabilizer and these two parts for supporting uh, fuse. Okay, you can see here. So and these are the two big parts for the wing. It's too big, so it won't cover. So for wing, there will be two parts like this. This is one on top. One more will come. So in between these two, uh, you will have some air foil shapes that I'll show you in the uh, later. Okay, so first what we need to do is we need to attach these two pieces to the fuse. So it will be like this. So, yeah, you can see as per the plan, you can see the markings. You can see these markings now. So you can place one like this, one this side glue it and other side also you have another one you need to glue it so okay so you need to glue that first after that uh, i'll show you uh, what we supposed to do okay first i will glue this thing then i'll be back okay so these two parts i will attach both sides of the fuselage okay then i'll be back Now this part is ready, you can see both sides, uh, these things attached, you can see this side and other side. Now what we need to do, uh, both sides in this area here and here, you need to place these things. So it will come something like this, see? like this, okay, so just like this, here one and another one will come here like this then we will place one more piece here so that we can combine three okay so where you will get these pieces so in the fuselage you can see there will be a marking here so like this so this is the portion so you can take this as a reference and you can cut two pieces two pieces one for the left one for the right okay so now i will place these things here and I will glue it, then I'll be back. Okay. So now I added both sides and I added these extra pieces for support. So two pieces here, here and two pieces in the bottom. So and here I here also I doubled this one for extra strength. So now I'll close this portion and this portion so that on top wing will come now. So I'm just closing this one. Okay, so I will do that then I'll be back. So now this fuse portion is ready. So you can see these two places closed 
okay so now what we need to do we need to cut according to the hues plan and see this angle cut okay this portion is for the servo this portion is for uh, elevator servo okay so yeah that's it next uh, we need to add the control surfaces here this one so you can see here this is one control surface okay so that is for the rudder okay so before you place you need to place the horizontal stabilizer so according to the plan you can you can do the cutting so it is there so you can see here like this you can cut it and you can add some tape and you can bevel the edges so that it can get this movement like you know, here okay so first we need to place this one okay like this okay so that this angle cut is allow this to go up and down okay so on top you can glue this one so here also i bevel the edges 45 degrees angle so that it will move freely okay so like this okay i will glue these two things then i'll be back okay now this fuselage is ready with all control surfaces so we have rudder here okay so and we have this elevator horizontal stabilizer vertical stabilizer everything and this entire fuse is ready motor mount and all i will add later so now we will start working on the wing part after that we will place all the electronics now uh, let's see the wing part so now we will start uh, making the wing so this is the wing bottom portion so this is the wing bottom portion so you can see here now according to this plan you can make the marking okay so you can see here same thing we have done so next so wherever you see these lines uh, we need to place some airfoil shape so this is the airfoil and you can see this is the one you can see in the plan right? this is the one okay you can cut it like this okay so this we have to place it this area this area this area this area like this and in this place you need to place one um, small piece like this like this okay just uh, uh, you can take the measurement of this one you can see here right so 35 mm okay 3.5 centimeters so just exactly this much okay you can take and you can place it so we don't place this directly like this because in the middle one more piece will come na? so first you need to place that then you can cut it this much area you can cut it same thing you can see here also na? you can cut this area okay so this is where this area will come okay so first i will place this one after that i will cut this portion then i will place it like this here one here one here one last and here then i will glue all these things then i will place top portion okay first we'll finish this one then i'll show you how to place the top portion okay so these lines also we need to place one more piece uh, here also okay but a little less so height of this piece is you can find here 16 mm okay so this piece 16 mm piece you need to put it from here to here okay so i will do this then i'll be back bottom wing portion is ready now you can see with all airfoil shapes okay you can see right like this so now we need to place the top wing on top of that so so as per the measurements you can mark it uh, just to get this edge shape see this also in the plan so what you need to do is you can mark it like this and you can cut it here and same thing you put it reverse and mark like this you can cut it so it's very simple so now this we need to place on top of this 
so these marks for the control surfaces it is also in the plan so you can you just place it like this see place this on top of the like this okay so like this just make sure this side line and this side line is properly matching that's it then you can put some cello tape and you can glue it all together like this so the shape will be like this you can get the shape okay i will do that then i'll be back after that we can cut this portion for the uh, ailerons okay i'll do that then i'll be back so now this wing portion is ready so you can see here i use this one for extra support when i'm gluing this thing okay so this is the front portion so so this wing is ready now so now we need to cut these portions for the ailerons okay so here here we need to cut it after that we can add some tape and so that we can uh, give the movement for this control surfaces so now i will cut it and i will glue them okay so i'll do that then i'll be back i have done cutting of this portion from here so now you can get these two pieces what you can do you can trace these two pieces on a new uh, decron so that you can glue it together like this okay just trace two new pieces using these two just after that you can glue it together then you can place it here okay so that you will be getting this ailerons left side same thing will repeat for right side okay so take these two pieces trace it and glue it together then you can attach here so that you will get the control surface okay i'll do it for both sides then i'll be back okay So now wing portion is ready so control surface is also added so only uh, thing left is like we need to add the electronics so first i will add the motor to the fuse and i will add the servos here and aileron um, here and here for these two ailerons and uh, elevator and rudder okay so i will show you after doing that okay so now everything is ready so you can see here uh install the motor and propeller on that motor okay so and in the bottom i added this this part and all electronics see servo is placed here for the rudder and the elevator and here i placed the uh, receiver and i am using this 30 amps uh esc okay so this is for battery so i added electro at the same time for extra support i added these also so that it will stop battery from falling down so to do this so this side i added one pop sticks and the glue and i made small holes through that i sent this so that it will hold the battery well okay so i am using 1000 kv motor okay and on that 10 inch propeller i am using okay so i added these sticks to hold the uh, wing on the fuse okay so now everything is ready okay so i close this pass portion i close this portion so now everything is ready and yeah even the wing also you can see here so both sides servos are installed and i added these pop sticks like as usual 
so it will stop the rubber to cut this foam okay so like this now everything is ready so i use this y connector for these two servos okay yeah y connector so that one single channel only i can control both servos okay so, so i will show you together how it looks so anyhow it's a four channel plane it's a four channel plane so total weight of this plane we'll see now so this is the fuselage so you can see fuselage with all electronics it is 525 grams okay so this is the fuselage next uh, we'll see the uh, wing so wing is 200 grams okay so that is around 700 grams like that you can see that is the total weight of this entire plane okay so now let's go for flying field and uh, i'll show you the test flight see you in flying video thank you